Welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. So, um, to me, this is the best of the Final Fantasy games, though it's not my personal favorite, because Final Fantasy VI, VII, and VIII are sci-fi games, as far as I'm concerned, and um, and it's, those aren't true fantasy games. So, the original creation for Final Fantasy were supposed to be actually medieval settings. So. Just like this. And each one of the characters in the game has a different virtue, so... Let's start a new game! Okay, here we have, um... Shipwreck or something in a hurricane or something weird like that. And the great, the legend, Nobuo Uematsu. We just passed him up, but there he is on the, was on the screen. He is a musician. I love Uematsu's work. And any chance I get, I will comment on how awesome he is. Oh, well, maybe that's just a dream or something? Okay, well. Must be a princess or something. Uh, yeah, it looks like you got... The dress on, the tiara, all the doves in your castle, and and that nice. All this nice, pretty music so far. All these nice birdie, birdie, birdies. You even have like your, like your Greek goddess on the airship or something. It's pretty cool. Love it. This is what a fantasy game should be, folks. All right, well, looks like we got some kind of monkey boy or something at the moment. Okay. Sure is dark. Guess no one's here yet. And there's all your controls. You don't really need to know them. Well, before we progress the plot let's go get a couple of treasures there's one that's 47 gil and a potion we're also gonna do something else we are gonna configure this screen because i hate it all right sound sound effects are awesome wait yes yes i'm skipping the battle camera because we're running and window color, classic. And you also have these three cheats. You can max out your gill. You can get uh, your stones or whatever max. You can get master abilities. Well, find out what all that stuff is later. But at the moment, yes, we'll light the candle now. Light the candle. Who's there? Okay. This is Final Fantasy IX Liverpool FC Edition. And I don't like Real Madrid nor Zinedine Zidane. So there you go. I heard they just fired their coach. Love it. They knocked us out of the Champions League twice, once in the final. Getting Sergio Ramos to like uh, give our goalie a concussion and let three goals pass. And also uh, taking out our best player, Mo Salah, and knocking him out of the game. Well... Screw you, Zinedine Zidane. You suck. Therefore, you don't exist in my game. Instead, we'll get my favorite Liverpool player of all time, Steven Gerrard. And also, um, the rest of the party members will be getting that we can name. I will rename them to current Liverpool FC players at the time of recording. So this is the offseason, so... Anything goes. 
<laughs> hey, old Scrooge, that looks like a Spaceball salute there. Hey, Gerard, you sure are late. Sorry, so where's the boss? Uh, who's the boss? Like, Tony Danza? Ain't here yet. Instead, we have Dragon Man, the Tatalus mascot. And my favorite battle music of the whole series, because it reminds me of the NBA on NBC growing up in the 90s. It's Madison Square Garden. 1994 NBA Finals between the New York Knicks and the Houston Rockets. This is Barf Albert. I love it. And a spectacular move! Yes! Now what you want to do with the masked man here is steal everything you can. There's three things you can steal. You saw the potion. There's a couple other things we can get. Gwahahaha! <laughs> Down with Gerard there. Alright. Couldn't steal anything. Get the Mage Masher. We get one more item. Let's keep going with stealing. And if anybody else dies except for Gerard, that's fine. And we get the wrist. So now let's kick his butt, shall we? 42 damage. 44 damage. Get some! Uh, this is a family show, folks. Only 4 damage, you suck. 36 damage. 42, alright. And 46, down with the mass man. Oh! It's the boss! You don't look like Tony Danza. Go easy, you guys. And all of them are tired, and the boss is all like, Oh, it's Baku. Okay, he's not Tony Danza. Hey, fools, I paid a fool. You're looking a lot better, and they're all worn out. <laughs> I love this jazz music in the background here. All right, let's start this meeting already. Well, you're the ones that got your butt kicked. Why are they tired and you're not? Doesn't That doesn't explain much to me, folks. Here's the plan. Tantalus, the infamous band of daring thieves, that's us, is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission, to kidnap the heir to throw Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here. So listen up. Listen to talking. Our ship's about to dock in Alexandria. And when it does, we're going to put on our costumes. And perform... I want to be your canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. That's Marcus, you're playing the lead? Man, you're one ugly dude to be playing the lead. Sorry, folks. Leave the acting to me, of course. The real kidnappers will be Blank and Gerard. I'll distract the audience from the backstage with these little buggers. I can't stand Oglops. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. That'll be your cue, Gerard. So that's when I kid that ugly queen, huh? Fat what? What am I saying? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta kid that that queen, right? Fat ass bug what? And actually, this is a little um Easter egg. If you hit the queen option 64 times. You'll get an Easter egg. All right, uh, Ruby, finally, this is the Easter egg. Gerard, I reckon you're more stubborn than a grumpy mule. Yeah, so, yeah, that's when we capture the princess. You bet. You're going to kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. Yay. So yeah, I'll uh, edit all that stuff out so you just go from start to finish here with no problem.
There's that big airship coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Love that title sequence, though. It's great. It's classy. It's wonderful. And Mr. Sakaguchi, the man, the myth, legend, Mr. Final Fantasy himself. There you go. Oh, ouch. Um, looks like we have a black mage here. He tripped and fell. Are you all right? Here, you dropped your ticket. Bye-bye. All right. Well, nice of her. So let's go to her house, shall we? And... I did put this on run, right? No, I did. I thought I did. Sorry, folks. Um. We found Grandma Savings of Nine Gill. Fame card. And one more treasure. A potion! And if you uh, look at this thing here, the pattern's making me dizzy. Oh, I fall flat on my butt. Again! Alright, well. Ooh, just a little longer. Darling, I'm home. Lucy, I'm home! I'm not done with Ilya's dress yet. Oh, that was that little girl's name. Ah, ha, ha. Every year, it's always the same. Spoiling up grandkids, I say. Okay. See, there's one treasure right here. Try to avoid him. I, I don't think you can avoid him, folks. Get out of my way. Well, you suck. And uh, get another potion. All right. So let's go back to the beginning of the place. And there's four treasures we can pick up here. There's one right there. There's a second one over here somewhere. We get a potion. And if you want to leave the city, too bad. They won't let you. And boy, why are they dressed like that anyway? Does that make sense? Does it to me? And a lizard card man. And the fourth treasure is... A Sahagan card. Yay. Okay. So now, let's get some more treasures. First of all, we... Honorable Nobles of Trito! Castle Alexandria is this way! Well, where's Trino? Well, there's the Great Gazoo. Um, <coughs> Trino is somewhere in the kingdom, but that's, we'll visit there later, folks. Um, 33 gill, a goblin card, and we'll talk to him. Hip Hall. Wow, nobles are so spiffy. We'll run in to talk to Hip Hall in a little bit or to get some more treasures. Yeah, before we get more treasures, let's talk to Ashley. Does that look like an Ashley to you? Well, it doesn't to me, folks. We'll sure be busy tonight. It'll also be the last time we'll be so busy. Well, that's too bad. Well, there's a potion, yay. Two more treasures. There's a second one. We get a flan card. 
And then we get 27 gil on the floor. Nice. All right. Yeah, let's talk to this character. Uh, I used to know a guy in high school named Mick. Anyways, how'd you get a ticket for the show? Well, you better head straight to the ticket booth in the square. Better have your ticket stamped before you get enter, enter the castle. Okay, well, we'll be on the lookout for that. Meantime, before we talk to that guy, let's get some more treasure. 38 gil on the floor. Good afternoon. Um, no, I don't want to buy anything from you, Doug, but appreciate it. That's 654 gil if I wanted to spend it. All right. We could talk to some NPCs that are not real important. What's in here first? Before that, let's go get some more treasure! And ether! And this is the synthesis. We'll be visiting synthesis later in the game. What they do is you can put a, a weapon and an I and a weapon and an armor or two weapons, two armors, whatever. You mix two things together and you get a uh, better piece of equipment, whether it's a weapon, armor, or an accessory. Well, well, that's nice of you. So, in here, there is a really hard treasure to find. Really hard. Just gotta stutter step until you find a remedy. Yay. Shopkeeper, I'll be telling my son will go out of business, but he never comes home. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Which sword? I wish I had a little more money. That'd be nice. By a little. Don't we all, folks? Don't we all wish we had a little more money? And there's another treasure right over here. And remember what Mick was saying. In order to advance the plot, you gotta go to the ticket booth right there. Before we do that, let's talk to Hit Paul. He says he, he hid three precious cards in a safe place. Well, we'll see if we can get them. Well, what do you mean there's no vacancies? Every time I see that, I think he says vaccines. But it is vacancies, folks. Yes, you see, really quite sorry. What? I don't believe this. I even have a reservation, darn it. Yeah. Good job, hotel. He, he, <laughs> he stole his money and he can't get his room. Lovely. All right. Here's a mini game you could do. You could jump some rope. It's totally not worth it. If you jump a thousand times in a row, see, you get the ultimate prize, which is a PS4 trophy or Xbox achievement or whatever uh, the, the, the Switch has or whatnot. Yeah, so we'll see how good I can do. I usually get about 10, and that's that. Well. I'll try one more time to get at least 10. The first prize you get is 10 gil for jumping 20 in a row. Ah, it ain't worth it. I mean, 20, 20 times in a row you get 10 gil. Uh, like 50 times in a row you get some kind of stupid card. 100 times in a row you get another stupid card. All the way up to like, you know, just get nothing but stupid cards. And 10 gil. So... Don't want to advance the plot yet, because we want more treasure. Now, before we... Now, let's see what's in here. We're going to get some eye drops. Nice. That cures blind status, if you're not familiar with Final Fantasy games. Ilya! Oh, hello again! Hello again! Yay! Now what you want to do is wait for Ilya to come out of the house. Sometimes she will, sometimes she won't. So let's walk off screen, come back. Coming out of the house, Ilya. Yes, you can. Very good. And all that for a whole whopping massive treasure of three gill. All right, that's wonderful, folks.
All right. Let's go talk to this dude first. My kitten Mittens ran away. Tell me if you see him, okay? Well, sure. We'll go find your kittens. Kitten named Mittens. Um, first, we'll go to the church. And we'll get a couple of treasures out here. One of them, you get a potion. On the other side, you get a tent. And if you go up the steeple here. Um, let's pull the rope, shall we? What treasures will come out of the bell? Because you know there's going to be treasure in a bell. Oh, it's hit balls. Uh, three cards here. The Ironite card, Goblin card, and Fang card. Nice. And hit ball hears the bell. He's like, darn, someone found my treasure. Crap. All right, so let's go find uh, Mittens the cat, shall we? Yes, let's go find Mittens the cat. The kitten, Mitten the kit, Mittens the kitten, or whatever you call that thing, and pigeons and kittens and mittens and whatnot, folks. All right. More birdie birdies and running into little kids. Quit hurting me! There's a kitty 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 at the beginning of town. Yeah! Oh, you found him? Yes. I just now thought of this. Tom is a cat, a male cat, yet they named the cat owner named Tom. Interesting. Thanks! Just now thought of that. You give me anything, Mr. Tom? Uh, don't know. Oh, well, now to advance the plot, let's go, um, let's go to the ticket booth to advance the plot. Yay. Ticket booth. Let's peek in there. Better not be doing anything naughty in there. Can I help you, son? Uh, what's showing today? Um, yeah, this year's performance is the masterpiece. I want to be your canary. The Tantalus Company is performing. That's the group of Gerard and folks. Tell me about Alexandria. Well, the Kingdom of Alexandria is a fine country ruled by Queen Braun. That butt, -ug butt ugly queen whoever? Yeah, who is she? Anyway, do you know that she has a beautiful daughter named Princess Garnett? Well, she was beautiful in that cutscene there. So who's Princess Garnett anyway? Well, today is her 16th birthday, you know. All right, let's show the ticket. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake. I've seen so many today. No! Now, now, don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Try to cheer up now. Get a goblin card, a fang card, and a skeleton card. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. You mean there's another stupid card game in this game? Well, bummer. Yes, it is quite stupid. All right, let's advance the plot. Blast it. Why is this character always falling on his face, anyway? Hey, you made me miss, you little klutz! How did he make you miss? Whew, that should do it. Took you all day to do that? Really? You're a terrible sign maker, Mr. Dante. I'm sorry. Hey, you, shrimp. You're the one with the phony ticket, ain't you? Well, you get the same result either way. No, he's not Alleyway Jack. And no, it's not a fake. Yeah. I'll let you see the show if you become my slave. Really, Square? Square Soft. Come on now. A black mage becoming his slave. Good job, Square. Well, sure. Do we have a choice? 
Awesome! Now for your first assignment. Go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. Well, that's not so bad. Yeah, it's clear. No one's coming. Awesome. Engage according to mission parameters. All right. Now I'm going to talk to him. Excuse me. Are you Halloween Jack? Better believe it. That's the guy. Now, if you, you let him sneak up behind you, he'll actually rob you of Gil. So don't do that, folks. If you know who I am, you probably want to challenge me to a card game, huh? What? You don't know how to play? You want me to teach you? Uh, for better or for worse, I suppose. I finished one job already, so why not? Follow me, kid. Well, let's start the basics. You need five cards to play. Yeah, we got more than five cards right now. To so play a game, approach someone and press square. If if some people may be interested, may not be interested, just move on to somebody else. Yeah, you, it's really a convoluted game. It's really stupid. It's pretty much random, despite the numbers. Yeah, so if you want to know his real name, I'll tell you when you get get to know me better. Yes, we'll be finding out much later in the game. So let's play him in some uh, cards, shall we? Just to show you how horrible this game is. Let's go for it, folks. Alright, Tetra Master. Select five cards to play. Let's get that card. Why not? Let's get that card. Let's get this card. Let's get that card and let's get that card because why not? All right, so you get to go first. Play a card next to one of your opponent's cards. The arrows on your card are facing your opponents. You have the chance to capture it. So basically, if it's one arrow versus no arrows, you get the card. If it's an arrow versus an arrow, you do battle. So. I have to do battle with him either way if I want it, so... I want... to go right here. Crap! Game ends once all the cards are in play, and the player counts for the most cards is the winner. Right now, I'm losing. Okay. Well, that sucks. I'm not doing so hot right now. Wow. Dang! See, all my numbers were really up there, way more than his, yet I still lost the card. That's why I say all these numbers are totally random. Bye bye, Sahagin. Heck no! Alright, let's get back to where we were, folks. Don't worry, it's not that far. Ah! Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go. And let's go. Over here, alrighty. Into the steeple, but first, let's see if we can collect a prize from rescuing uh, Mittens the Kitten. No, I want to talk to Tom. Here, this is for you. We get a bomb card. Maybe I could have used that. Maybe I would have had more success. Alright, now we're going to climb up this tower. It's very dangerous 
You go first. All right, yes, yeah, slaves ahead of non-slaves, I suppose. Doink! <laughs> what was that? Sorry about that, Koopo! That's Koopo, he's a Moogle. Koopo! And this is slave number one. Try to get along okay? Pleased to meet ya! I sorry, I enter you in Moogle Diary. Yeah, like, passive verbs uh, don't really exist in this guy's vocabulary. If you want to save your game, just ask us Moogles. Koopo! And you can regain health if you have a tent. Koopo! I understand. Yay. Glad I came. Glad I can help you. All right. Time for some upward mobility. Um, this is a family show, folks. Well, we're not going to do any upward mobility just yet because I want to save my game. Okay, come on up, slave. Yeah, oh, first we gotta talk to Stiltskin. He's a special kind of Moogle. You'll f find out later. Why that get up? You leaving Koopo? Or Koopo, sorry. Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I'll miss you, Koopo! Now don't you worry, I'll write. Who writes these days? Just send a text or an email or something. Instant messenger, something like that. Okay, Koopo! Social media, something. Well, I'm off. Take care. Oh, and say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. Okay. Oh, was that a friend of yours? Yes, Koopo! A very special one. Koopo! Hey, slave! I thought I ordered you up here! Yeah, ordering me up there. Yeah. You're not the boss of me, pal. Time to make a record. Koopo! Magnet. I'll tell you about Magnet. It's a mail delivery system between Moogles. We can send and receive letters to and from Moogles in other locations. Koopo! But delivery has been very sporadic lately. So I want you to help us deliver mail. Koopo! Sure! This is a side quest that goes all through the game. And yeah, I I want to complete it. I never got that far in completing the game. But I have a favor to ask. Koopo! Want you to deliver a letter to Monty. Um, sure! Let's make a deal, Monty Hall. Thanks, Koopo! Alright. Okay! We'll save the game and next time... We'll follow the rat kid up there. And how much longer will we have to be a slave? And um, also have a bit of sword fighting to do next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX.